Chapter 1 Types of Computers In this lesson, we will learn about different categories of computers analog, digital, and hybrid, micro and mini computers, mainframe and supercomputers. Introduction In earlier classes, we have learned about different types of computers. Let us do a quick recap. Nowadays, computers are being used in almost all the fields and can perform a variety of jobs. Computers may be classified into the following three categories on the basis of principles of operation. Analog computers, digital computers, hybrid computers. Classification of computers on the basis of operation Analog computers Analog computers work on the basis of continuous signals. These computers analyze the signals they receive and measure their strength. The strength of the signals vary from time to time. For example, the working of an ECG machine, speedometer, etc. Digital computers a digital computer works on digits, that is, zeros and ones. It operates on digital data, that is, numbers. It uses the binary number system. These computers are used to perform complex calculations and can be programmed. Digital computers can be further classified into two categories, general purpose computers and special purpose computers. General purpose computers are designed to be used by anyone for any application. Most of the computers that we see today are general purpose. Special purpose computers are those which are designed for a specific application. Hybrid computers Hybrid computers are those which are a combination of analog and digital computers. That is, they work on continuous physical quantities, the analog part, and then work with digits, digital part to get the result. For example, blood pressure machine. Classification of computers on the basis of size and performance. Microcomputers. Microcomputers are computers which use a single microprocessor. These are also known as PC personal computers. These are small and less expensive than mini computers. They are further classified into desktop computers, portable computers. Desktop computers. Desktop computers are designed so that the system unit, input device, as well as the output unit can be placed on a desk. Portable computers. Portable computers or mobile computers are those computers which can be carried from one place to another. They are lightweight computers. They contain a rechargeable battery so that they can be used even when not plugged into a main power supply. These are thin yet as powerful as an average desktop computer. Portable computers are of the following types. Notebook computers there are small versions of laptops with a screen size of 9 to 10 inches. They are usually designed for travelers and like in laptop computers, the screen folds down when not in use. Tablet PCs Tablet PCs are special type of notebook computers with interactive option by touching the screen. Tablet PCs are good for taking notes in locations where standard notebook computers cannot be used. We can watch pictures, videos, listen to music, read ebooks, browse the internet, and send and receive emails on tablet PCs. Palm top computers. A palm top computer is similar to a laptop computer, but it is smaller in size. It is small enough to fit in the palm of a hand. Palm tops are usually not very powerful since fast CPUs require a large battery. Since palm tops have small batteries, they usually heat up. PDA 
PDA is short for Personal Digital Assistant. It is a handheld device that combines computing, telephone or fax and networking features. A typical PDA can function as a cellular phone, fax sender and personal organizer. Unlike portable computers, most PDAs are pen-based, using a stylus rather than a keyboard for input. What do you think is the difference between palm-top computers and the iPad? Embedded Computers Embedded computers are the microprocessors built into various products. Since they are placed within a larger product, they are small in size. Embedded computers perform a variety of tasks depending on the requirement of the product within which they reside. For example, an embedded microprocessor in a printer checks for paper jams, the amount of ink remaining and similar tasks. Mini Computers Mini computers are medium-sized computers which are higher in storage, processing and memory capacity than microcomputers. They are slightly more expensive than the microcomputers. A mini computer is a computer capable of supporting about 4 to 200 users simultaneously. Mainframe computers. Mainframe computers can process data at very high speed and can process millions of instructions per second. They use more than one processor chip. They possess higher storage, speed and processing capabilities. They can store hundreds or even thousands of users simultaneously. They are mostly used in banking, airlines, railways, etc. Supercomputers Supercomputers are the fastest computers and are the most expensive. Supercomputers use many processor chips and can process billions of instructions per second. They are used for tasks that require intensive calculations. They are used in various fields like weather forecasting, engineering designs, stock exchange, nuclear energy research, etc. Companies which produce supercomputers are Cray, IBM and Hewlett-Packard. Param and Anurag are two supercomputers developed by India. Hence, when we traverse in the upward direction, that is from micro to mini to mainframe to super, the processing speed, memory and cost increases and in the reverse order, the size decreases. Sum up. There are three different types of computers. When classified based on the operation, that is, analog, digital and hybrid computers, there are four different categories of computers when we classify them based on their size and performance, that is, super, mainframe, mini and microcomputers. Supercomputers can process billions of instructions per second. Mainframe computers are lower than supercomputers in terms of processing speed. They can process hundreds and millions of instructions per second. Mini computers are lower than mainframe computers in terms of processing speed and storage capacity. Microcomputer is the name given to computer with a single microprocessor. Portable computers can be moved from one place to another comfortably, whereas Desktop computers are normally placed on a desk.